Hello everyone, a very quick update. Today I found some time to do some cutting and some box. So, I have a box. Let me show you what I uh, thought of. So, I made a box, um, supported box. I don't have the opening for the subwoofer yet. But, um, since making a box is uh, very difficult to find the correct tuning frequency, what I did is uh, actually, let me open and show you. So, I didn't glue the box yet because it's not finished, obviously. Uh, I can remove the side panel. And this is basically uh, how inside of the box looks like, yeah? So, I'm going to cut a hole there for the subwoofer. And this is my port. So, this is roughly three and a half cubic feet of internal volume. And this is the port for... 30 Hertz tuning frequency so you can say it's a bit short and it is a bit short because I need to add some extra but the thing is it's it has a very um, kind of small port because I wanted to have a big internal volume because the thing is if I'm gonna make the port twice as uh, big so this is 200 square 220 square centimeters. I don't know how much in inches. If I would make it a twice as wide, uh, much bigger, then the port is going to be twice as long and it's going to go inside the box and it's going to eat my in, uh, the inside net volume, which I don't want because I don't really care about chuffing. There's not going to be any chuffing, but I don't really care about that. I want the internal volume to be as big as possible. So what I'm going to do is, because I'm going to test the uh, resonant frequency of the box, and I'm going to do this by having different uh, lengths of port. Yeah. So I'm going to start with this, whichever that is. According to my calculations on the software, I need to add just this like that and it should be around 30 hertz tuning frequency this port yeah so i'm gonna test that then i'm gonna remove this i'm gonna put a longer one test remove this put a longer one and the longer one and the longest one i don't really know how much it's gonna be but i'm guessing it's gonna be 20 i don't know maybe 6 25 hertz tuning frequency i don't know we'll see but it's below 30 and that's the thing is going to be less uh, volume for the subwoofer. But this is how I'm going to do it. So my plan is, I don't know how it's going to work out. My plan is not to glue the box in because first I need to test the uh, port and actually choose the length that I need. So my plan is all these uh, sides, I'm going to put loads of screws and I'm going to put a um, CCF in the gap. So just gonna put like all, all of this around. I'm gonna put CCF all over the place. And then I'm gonna put this, sorry, it's very difficult with one hand like this. And basically all these gaps is gonna be CCF. But the thing is, if I'm gonna put loads and loads and loads of screws, it's gonna be screwed properly and it's not gonna leak. So my first plan is to test the port itself to find the actual tuning frequency and maybe talk about box rise because it's going to be an impedance sweep i'm going to be testing it by doing an impedance sweep and then i'm going to so my first thought was to move the port around if i want to test different configurations of port versus subwoofer but then i thought it's very difficult and i don't want to make a round port because i need to buy a pipe which i don't want to buy so i'm gonna make one hole here then i'm gonna make another hole here and while i'm gonna have that hole what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cover the first one with the sheet then i'm gonna cover the second with a sheet i'm gonna cut another hole there and that's gonna i'm gonna go all four ways around and this is a test box it's not perfect it's it's only 15 mil uh mdf so it's not as good but it's just a test box yeah so that's the update for today and yeah keep watching see you in the next one